guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Futo. i'm a nigerian living and studying in moscow russia if this is your first time on my youtube channel check care for you welcome guys if you're a tiny subscriber jingle bell for you jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell uh, today with me i have someone that has been my life it's my friend i don't disturb her just extra info that, that's that's for me to say not you Okay. So introduce yourself. My name is Polo. I'm also a student in Russia. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> this is Polo. And yeah. this is Skotek. And as I promised you guys, that I was going to bring someone from Skotek on my channel. And this is the person that made me postpone my video for like a year. Literally. Please stop lying. Follow, stop making me look bad. Follow, when? Follow, ask yourself. Since when? Be honest. I postponed be honest. Since for. When? Three weeks, I that's think. Not true. I think so. I so think for three weeks. This is not the first time I'm talking to you about Don't living together. Make me look bad. <laughs> I would attach. Do you want to say the truth or you want me to attach proof when I'm editing this video? You can, you, you can attach the proof because there is no proof. There is no proof, okay. So I want to attach the video of when I first reached out to Fulu that we wanted to film a video together about Scotty. I think it was last year. But since Fulu is saying that, I'm lying. <laughs> would see because evidence day i deal with evidence but you're welcome for you thank you for coming thank Hi, you for having me and so literally yet i, I tweeted something some like weeks ago and it was about because i i, I came across this school called school tech and then i heard that they pay the highest stipend in russia for students and i'm like oops Looks like a school that I'm interested. Don't forget to find out that it's a tech school. Can you tell us about school tech? What do you guys do? What is school tech about? What is the meaning of school tech? And just info about school tech. School tech, well, it's basically just the short form of the name. The full name is Kokovo Institute of Science and Technology, where a lot of scientific research is done, and it's basically like an organization in. A business center or business city called Skokova. It's just like the educational organization of a business center called Skokova. Is that the only private school in Russia? Like tech school? Mm. That's a good question. If you, if you want to say good school, I would say yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Almost so like, all the good. They give excellent service to their students. Any forms of academic background? Oh, of course, very, very, very good. Is this somewhere you are advised to come? International students? I would definitely... Well, it depends actually. Depends on what you want. Mm -hmm. When I was describing school tech, I, I described research. So, I think if you want to go work in the industry straight away, mm -hmm. I think maybe not. But if you just want good education or to get into research, then I would definitely advise school tech. But, and the reason I said so is because school tech is intensive. So if you want to go to industry, you wow. can do masters in a less intensive school and start, yeah, start working, working towards your career. Mm -hmm. What are the admission requirements for school tech as an African, no, as an international student, especially in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. When you were applying to school tech, what were the requirements? What did they require you to have? Like, grades? Because I know they said it's just for master's students, master's and PhD students, so not bachelor's. Just for master's and, and PhD, PhD students. students. What should I, uh, if I'm coming to school tech as a bachelor's student, what are the requirements? I think it's same for everybody, regardless of where you're from, and it's mm -hmm. two recommendation letters. Uh, CV. First class. Well, oh. actually, there are two exams you are going to write. Maybe your transcripts could, if there's like a very tight situation, maybe your transcript could help. But those two exams are what really matter. I, I know a friend who he's smart, but like his transcript from bachelor's is not so good. But he still got in. So I don't think your transcript really matters. It's how well you do in those two exams. There's the first stage of exam, and if you pass it, there's another stage. That's what matters then. So Recommendation yeah. letters and yeah. your CV. So literally, your CGPA from your point of view does not really matter. Yeah, but you have to pass the two exams. Mm -hmm. That's like the major requirement. But well, there's also an interview. I mean, you have to pass the exam before you can go. 
Yeah. yeah. Wait, if you pass the exam, I don't do any time. You can still be dropped. So, there are two exams. The first one is... How do they... Let me just call it first round. And that would determine if you can even go to the interview okay. stage. Then we have the interview. Then we have the second exam. If you... There are two cases for the interview and the second exam. If you do well in the interview, but you don't do well in the second exam, they will give you an opportunity to rewrite the second exam. If you don't do well in the interview, but you do well in the second exam, I think that you still have a good chance of getting in. Because I think most Russians don't do well in the interview due to English speaking. Uh, oh, so it's strictly at English? Oh yes, of course, it's strictly English. Uh, oh, that's another good reason I should have mentioned why you should come to school text, like purely English. Oh, it's very com- comfortable. I have a first class, or I have a second class offer, or no, I can still apply to school tech. Definitely. So far, I passed the exam. Yes. Okay. Anyways, follow up the applications, like, like deadlines, like, does the application run through the year, or like just maybe summer, 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 summer application, summer admission, winter, winter, spring admission, or just all through the year. For, for mm-hmm. us in HSC, it runs like all through the year. No, tech. for HSC runs, you just want. One, you just, you just resume. So even if you get your admission in January, it's still September you will resume. Admissions open. What month have you been in March? I would say maybe May. Then it runs through the summer, and there are three waves you can apply. There's wave one, wave two, wave three. When is wave one applying deadline? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Because if you have, if you, if you, if you if like the application itself opens in May, and there are three waves before September, right? Actually, I think wave one has already ended. ended because they actually just added a new rule that if you apply in wave two or wave three, you have to pay an application fee. You pay okay. application fee to hold it now. Now for wave two and wave three, but if you apply in wave one, which I think. As my friend told me, because he was rushing to do it, I think it has passed or it will soon pass. I am not sure. I don't remember. Do you, do you have uh, Do you have an idea how much the application is? I think they said for people inside Russia, it's five hundred rubles, and oh, for people outside, it's twenty dollars. That's my money. Five hundred rubles equivalent to naira is about five. five no, seven thousand five hundred naira ish. Because the rate, the current rate now is thirteen point five, but for twenty dollars. Ah, uh, twenty. I think for them it will be twenty dollars since they are outside. Since they are outside, so yeah. twenty dollars for you guys. Application fee is twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. If one is done, so it's not with two and with three, then it's still available. Yeah. So guys, you guys, if you want to come to school tech, you're interested in doing any tech related courses, and you want to come to school tech. Wave two and wave three is still ongoing. Well, it's just not tech. Again, it's not, it's just, not just tech. tech. No. What you guys do? I thought it was just a tech school. Sorry. Thank God that I did not do this by myself. <laughs> <laughs> really well, the, the name is Skokowo Institute of Science and Technology. Yeah, so there's also science. science so I what am. What science courses do you have? There is life science for mm-hmm. people interested in biology stuff. There is material science. Mm-hmm. I think that's more of chemistry. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's engineering systems, there's photonics. What's photonics? What do they do? Photonics, they study photons, which is basically okay. part of matter. Mm-hmm. And there's also. What else? What else? There's petroleum engineering also. Really? No. So there's. No, what are you studying? I'm studying adva- advanced computation science. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's also data science also. There is English. There's English also. In yes. Oh. But their stipend is very, very low. <laughs> Actually, guys, it's not even like. I think that's one of the, that's one of the frustrations I have about HSC. Their stipend is very, very low. Like, it's nothing. You can only pay your hostel fee. Yes, stipend. What is, the, what is the admission process like? Right? You've already mentioned that you do an exam, two exams in precise, then you do interview. After the interview, what, what's next? First exam, mm-hmm. 
and if you pass it, you get inter- invited for the interview. Mm-hmm. And after the interview, it's the second interview. Second yes. It means HSC. It means like the science part of HSC. Because HSC is like a research institute, and you do a lot of presentation, a lot of research work, and all of that. So more like HSC is social sciences, and school tech is sciences. And it makes a lot of sense because if I was just telling someone that there are some schools in this country that I don't know. Schools that have like all their courses, all the courses in this world in their school. I don't like those schools. But you just like the fact that HSC is specializing in a particular field. And then there's this school, M G I M O. They too are specialized in a particular course, like international relations and law. It just makes a lot of sense because it's easier for people to be able to like figure out which university they want to go to and what they want to do. So a lot of sense to me to be honest. How do you submit your transcript? How do you submit your CV? All the documents they are, requ- they are requesting for, how do you send it? Like, do you send through an email? Or like you have like an application portal where you upload all your, all your documents and all of that? For so, admission so. process, mm-hmm. it's everything is online. You just need to upload it. But when you get admitted and you want to come... And when you get admitted, you would have to upload your document? No, no. You have to upload your CV and your recommendation letters. Before um, you get admission? Yeah, because they will look at that to check you first to see if they will invite you for the further for the stages. First, yeah. Like, you will need to send your transcripts, they are going to keep it with them. For that, if you are outside of Russia, you are going to need to use some career service. Oh, really? and yeah, because you are going to have to send it from there. Yeah. So, like, they cannot, so, like, you cannot upload your transcripts online? No. <laughs> they are going to keep it. And it, it's very interesting. Why are they keeping it? So that you don't enroll in multiple universities at once. I think that's how it is in Russia. I don't know about outside, but mm-hmm. when you are enrolling in your university, you give them your transcripts and they will keep it. Well, that doesn't even make sense because I can always request for another transcript from my university. Like notarized and all that. What's the, what's the, what's the big deal? Exactly. I, I apply for a new transcript from my university. I go to the embassy to some countries, they will require you to notarize your document. Oh, talking about Russia now. No, I, like, is it like point that you don't get to apply to different universities in Russia? Not apply, but like you don't simultaneously enroll in multiple universities. Oh, okay, so yeah. like you're not in school tech and then you're another in school. school. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. And you, you can take your transcript, but you need to return it back within 10 days. So it's prevents it's prevent this yeah. much. Because, because, you know, like they give good money. So people might just want to stay here for the for money, money and <laughs> be doing something else. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's to prevent stuff like that. Okay. That's smart. That's smart. I want to apply to school tech. What's the first thing I should do? What was the first thing you did? First thing I did is start to look for the professors that write recommendation letter for me. And interview. If you speak English, I guess it's just need to focus on making a, a nice presentation. That's it. Do a presentation first. Like a power, a power point like. On a project you've worked on for a bachelor, guys, yeah, mostly your thesis. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, you present your thesis, and they will ask you questions on that, and questions relating to that, which could lead to some math questions. Whatever you put in your presentations, be ready to answer questions about it and around that area. Mm-hmm. I get, a, I get someone to write me a recommendation letter. I have a CV, and then I show it to the school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and email. There's a platform for something to know. Give it to me. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that is that a platform to apply to like something? Mm-hmm. It's not like it's not public. It's public, of course. I mean, if you go to Scotex website and you click on the apply, they will send uh, you an email. Send an email. And uh, through sense. this email, you can. Then you get the details you need to. The details you need to upload your stuff. Mm-hmm. They have like a special page on their website for uploading your stuff. Based on the link they will send it. So I think the next thing we want to talk about is that I think a lot of people will like because that particular tweet had like one of my most arguments when I took it. When I said there's a university in Russia that pays up to like forty thousand rubles for like <laughs> for master's degree students and up to seventy for PhD. Yeah. People were like really engaged. They were asking questions. So maybe I probably made a mistake with you money is like with the price with the stipends and all that but now you that you're here how much do they give master students how much do they give a patient so master students first year they give them 40k rubles mm-hmm. per month and second year they will give you 45k mm-hmm. rubles per month there are many ways to get more so wait you can actually get more you can get more oh, no, I get 
I'm not getting more money. I, I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not looking forward to getting more because you have to work for that more. You have to do a lot of work. You have to get. Follow, do more work so we can have money. Follow, we need more money. It's a lot of work. Follow, you know, you know. Follow, 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 I don't want more money. I want, I want my life. No. Come on, just follow, we need more money. Follow. You can get more money, but to cost, to cost your soul. So yourself, you're ready. Actually, please don't put to put me in a okay. budget. So follow, tell follow to put me in his budget to go and get more money. <laughs> follow, get more money. Okay, so how much did they pay PhD students? PhD they pay them starting from seventy k. Then, as I remember, if you publish three papers, you start getting hundred k per month. This is the only motivation I need to complete my PhD. This? We <laughs> do you think it's easy to publish a paper? Excuse you, if I. <laughs> I'm required to publish at least three papers. Mm. But there's no ah, there's not money. There's no money attached to it. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Wow. Oh my god. Like there's no motivation! There's not there's really no motivation to it. 70k and then when you publish three articles, mm-hmm. summary is go to school tech. Don't come to HSC. Uh, are you really throwing shit at HSC like that? Let's just tell my school. Look, look. In my, in my opinion, in my opinion, HSC is a good school, even for uh, HSC. I think HSC is like the second best in terms of yeah. tech. They have very, very good yeah, they data have, science yeah, program. programs. Yeah, programs. I was talking about all these things, right? How do you know when your admission is successful? I think like after two weeks, after you write the second exam. So, I think it's too general for like the old my admission of the um, what's it called? Russian first. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So after two weeks you get your admission, you get like the yeah, response that you're at you mean that after you get the admission you need. so you so all you need is start preparing your thing. For the flight they'll actually pay for you. Stop! I'm not joking. They no, will. stop! I'm not joking. Say it again. <laughs> they'll pay for the flight for you. Are you sure that I don't want to switch to class then? I I told you you should do statistics. You are very good at statistics, you do it. Guys, what do you think? Should I go to school? I, I don't mind leaving and coming back. Because <laughs> I, I want to fly. Maybe, maybe if Qatar said that I would use because it's very interesting. Because I didn't even know that they pay for a flight ticket in school. Tech. I only knew that they pay like a lot of money. And I just thought everybody gets like flat 40,000. Went to like, so I'm like, oh, okay, 70k, that's a lot of money. That's for only PhD. Okay, I might get it 70k. Oh, you're talking about this page you get. I'm, I'm master's yeah. so I thought you were talking about master's. You get, so, you get 40k first year master's student, 45k second year master's student, then PhD 70k and above. That makes a lot of sense, and then they pay for your flight tickets. It makes a lot of sense. I genuinely wish that people who deserve like this kind of opportunity get it. And Nigeria investors don't mess them up because sometimes when you try to request you try to get another university, especially federal university, it's very hard and difficult for you to get. It's only this bureaucratic mm-hmm. process. And did you do your bachelor's here? Yeah, my bachelor's here. Makes lots of sense. Thank you so much for you for coming to my channel. Thank you so much You're for welcome. this information that you share. The part that is to do right now <laughs> is the fact right? that they pay for your flight to come to Russia. And I need a lot in, in school tech. I want to know why they are able to afford that, that, that kind oh, of money. Oh, I know why not a lot though. Um, let me see. For masters, I, I, it's not a lot. You know, it's like example, in advanced computational science, they only take 15 students per year. Now it makes sense why they spend the amount of money on you guys. Because they can afford, it's something they can afford. Because, I heard, because I heard that. It, once you get admission to school tech, it's automatic scholarship. Like no, nobody in school tech is paying tuition. Nobody. And that brings us to the end of this video. Please, if this video has been helpful to you, do not forget to like, do not forget to share, do not forget to subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell to get notified every single time and any time I post a new video. Until next time, bye guys. Peace.